Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. So today my lovely client Jade has come in and we have already prepped her nails and applied our thin clear base. I'm now coming in with CJP Apple Shine and I'm just creating an ombre on the tip, feathering that down onto that nail bed area to make it nice and smooth so that when we transition that next colour in there's not going to be any harsh lines. So I'm now coming in with Lilac Callista and I'm just placing it at the cuticle area, tucking it in around the side walls and then pulling it down the body of the nail um, and then just creating a full nail of this. So Jade wanted some nice fresh kind of looking nails so they went for something a bit different and these nails were actually inspired by nails by Annabelle I'm sure you all know who she is and then we're going to move on to the middle finger which we're going to create a nail bed and smile line so the color that I'm using to do this is cherry blossom and I'm just placing the bead at that cuticle area and then just tilting the finger downwards to let gravity naturally take place and then just kind of trying hard to tuck that in the cuticle area and make a rough shape of how I want that smile line to be. But I'm not too fussed because we are going to file it crisp anyway um, and I will apply a little bit more product if I need a higher apex because I don't tend to cap the nail bed area but I think actually on this set I did. Yeah, I think I did. Although you don't need to, if you don't want to. It's completely preference. As long as your apex is there and the nail is nice and strong, you don't have to cap. So on this nail, I'm just taking all of the colours we've used as well as coconut milk and I'm just kind of doing like a, um, I don't know if you call it like a candy cane design. I mean, it's not really, it's very loose. It's not a marble. It's not, a, it's just kind of lines going diagonally. It's nothing complicated and I'm just going to try and do this on this whole nail without it looking awful. Coming back to the pinky finger now and we're just going to create that ombre with the purple so placing out the cuticle area, keeping the bulk where I want the apex and then just tickling the front end of that bead down onto that mint green. And then I'm going to come in with some of the, they're like galaxy flakes or something like that, I can't remember the name of them but they're from the Glitter Fairy and they're just like holographic and colour shifting, they're just really, really pretty. And I'm just going to do like a little trail along that nail there.
So we're just capping that nail bed. Capping that nail bed. <laughs> no, we're not capping that nail bed. We capped the purple nail and now we are filing our nail bed nice and crisp. Removing all of that dust and I'm coming in with ultraviolet now just along the smile line area Because I think if you use lighter colors or lighter shades along a smile line You don't really get that nice crisp looking finish because it's quite pale. So sometimes it looks like You're not sure where the smile line is. So that's why I've gone in with the darker purple there So that you can really really see that smile line pop and then I'm just going to come in with the other colors that we've used as well and kind of do like a um, a splat on the end. <laughs> So the thumb is just going to be apple shine and those flakes again and I'm going to apply some of the glitter we've used uh, which is the one of the princess glitters from the princess collection from the glitter fairy but I'm not I'm not sure if it's Cinderella it's the purple one and I'm not sure who it is <laughs> but it's from the princess collection and they are beautiful and then I will cap that nail as well. So I've filed and shaped and all of that lovely stuff and now I'm coming in with the Glitter Planet Size 5 Nail Mate Art Brush and Coconut Milk from CJP and I'm just gonna create a flower. So I'm just placing that bead, making like a crescent shape and then just going in and pressing it and giving it some definition and some depth and I'm just gonna make a little super pretty flower. So the key with any 3D work is have a little bit of patience and just wait for it to go matte before you start pressing into it because if you start working it whilst it's too wet, it's just gonna bounce back and you're just gonna end up with no definition and just really quite um, a sloppy mess. So if you really want the definition of the petals, then just wait for it to go matte don't be scared to let it go matte and think oh my god i'm not going to be able to maneuver it now um just play have a play around with it so i'm just building the outline of that flower there and then we're just going to layer up the petals inside so i usually go in the join where the other two petals have met to put my inner petals This brush is so good, I love it. It's so easy to make those 3D flowers with. And then I'm gonna do the same on the opposite side. Making the beads smaller as we go. And then I'm just gonna do a dot in the middle. Usually I do like a swirl and sometimes I do like a dot with a hole in but this time I put the dot on and I quite liked it like that so I just left it like that. And then I went ahead and applied some crystals but I did that off film and now we're going in with top coat. I just love the way it all comes to life when you apply your top coat. It's always satisfying. The crystal that I've used on that nail as well are the silver ones from CJP. They've just started selling crystals and they are stunning. 
and then I'll cure this in the lamp for 60 seconds. Apply cuticle oil when she comes out after I've allowed it to cool down just for a minute or two. And then that is the finished video. I've left a clip as always at the end for you. If you did like this, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please do. I love you all so much and I will see you all again in my next one. Bye.